Hello everyone and welcome back to another product review on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to review the Scarlet Collection from Beamy Beauty Box. And I don't remember the last time I've done a Beamy product review. I know I've featured a few of their metal leaf gels on my channel, but not a whole collection. And when I saw this collection, my heart skipped a few beats because it is a collection of reds and I just had to get it. And I wanted to show you guys what this collection is all about. Now, I believe that this did come out before Christmas, but I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. So if you're curious to see what this collection is all about, just keep on watching. Okay, the first color is called R01, so that's how they are labeled. And I have to say right off the bat, when I was swatching this swatch stick in one thin layer, the consistency was so creamy, so pigmented. You can get away with one coat, but as always, I always put two coats on. And wow, I was super impressed. I've heard that these gel polishes from Beamy are very creamy, but I didn't know how creamy till I did that first swatch. And yeah, I'm drooling a little. <laughs> so this color is, I would say this is kind of borderline coral to a light summertime red. So I think this is a great color for the summertime, obviously. It's, it's the lighter color out of the collection. As you can see here on the three different skin tones, and I did these in matte because I thought it looked fantastic matte. So to compare with other colors, Red Bottoms from En Vogue is pretty spot on uh, as for tone. Ferrari Red is also another one from Magic Gel that is pretty close to R01. Scarlet Tulip's got a little bit more blue hue to it. And I'm just gonna let you look at the rest of these to see if you think they compare or not. Okay, next color is R02, which is a darker red. So this is more like a true red, a little lighter than a blue red. I'm not seeing any brown or blue undertones with this color, but it's more like a true red. And this is another color that you can get away with a one coat coverage. You don't need two coats and super creamy, super pigmented, just like the first one we saw. Just a really nice creamy, I was gonna say milky, but it's not milky, it's creamy and very easy to apply. And this shade matte on these three different skin tones looks amazing as well. So, so far I'm quite impressed. So I'm just gonna let you watch the colors that I chose to compare with R02, actually, and throughout the whole video. So take notes if you want, and maybe something will pique your interest. Okay, the next color is R03, and this color is a blood red. So it's a nice, deep, rich red. It is a, I would say it's a cool toned red. There's a bit of a blue undertone to it. It is quite pigmented, and I actually don't have quite enough on my brush here, but it is pigmented, so you could get away with one thin layer. And I also want to mention that I have been carrying this for one minute in my UV LED lamp. The directions on the bottle says LED cure for 30 to 60 seconds and UV cure for two minutes. So on my skin tone, I really like this shade of red. It's a deeper red, it's a cool toned red, and it is red. <laughs> 
and in matte on these three different skin tones looks amazing. So again, for the color comparisons, I did put the name of the color I'm comparing it to on the screen so you guys can take notes and stop and start the video as many times as you need to. And hopefully this gives you a sense of what this color R03 looks like compared to other reds in my collection. R04 is the next color we're going to look at and this is a gorgeous red. I'm going to say right off the bat that this is probably my favorite red. It's like a berry red. It has a blue undertone to it or a cranberry red and it's also got ultra fine glitter in here. So I wasn't too sure if I was seeing things or not just by looking at the cap but as I was swatching it I definitely could see the very fine glitter that's in this color. So as I'm applying the second layer, I'm thinking I really don't need a second layer. But again, you guys, you know, <laughs> I like to be consistent. This one is stunning. Look at that ultra fine glitter that's in there. I can see it. I hope you guys are seeing it too. A great color for my skin tone. And I can really see the glitter when this color is matte. And this is so stunning matte. I'm really surprised because I'm not a matte kind of girl. And I do want to let you know that I am using the Beamy Matte Top Coat. And that is also a two minute UV cure and 60 second LED cure. And as I'm doing these color comparisons, I am noticing that I do have a few red colors that are similar to R03, but we have to remember that the Beamy color does have a soft glitter in it. And the colors that I'm comparing it to are just a cream color. And the next one is R05 and this color is a kind of a burgundy wine color. Actually, it's not kind of, it is a burgundy wine color, but it also has like a frosty shimmer to it or a metallic look or feel to it. This color isn't as pigmented as the previous ones, but two thin layers and you do get that full opaque coverage with no shadowing or streaking. It's This is one of my favorite colors in a red or a burgundy that's got that shimmery frost to it. And as you can see with the second layer on here, it really shows the true color of this red. So this is a great red for fall, for Christmas, for winter nails, that deep dark burgundy that we like to see in the fall. And look at this color matte. It is gorgeous. I would wear all 10 nails matte with this color. So I was really curious to see what Ugly Duckling 112 looked like compared to R04, and it doesn't really compare. Number 75 is a little bit closer. Actually, that almost looks to be very similar. Telltale Heart is a deeper shade, and Raspberry Ripple from Magic Gel is the same tone, but it doesn't have that shimmery metallic component to it. And the last color is R06, and this one is a deep, rich, purpley plum. So this one will go on in one thin layer. You get a nice opaque coverage. If you do two thin layers, it almost looks black. And this color pairs up really nicely with Ugly Duckling number 106. And here's a look at those two colors together, like absolutely stunning. And it's almost a black, but with a purple undertone to it. So a really gorgeous, I was going to say fall, but more like a, a winter color. And here's R06 matte on three different skin tones. Like, look, it almost looks black, but you can see that kind of blue purple hue to it. So next are the colors I chose to compare with R06. So let's see what's comparable and what's not.
Okay, that's probably enough comparisons. I think you guys will get a good feel for this color. So let's recap this collection. So the Scarlet Collection, if you are a red lover like I am, I think you're really going to love this collection. Now, I have never used Beamy's gel polish before, and I have to say I was so impressed with it. The creaminess, the opacity, the ease of application, it was just incredible. And if you're familiar with Magic Gel's MLAC and Ugly Duckling gel polish, so Magic Gel being more of a thicker viscosity and Ugly Duckling being a thinner viscosity, I would say Beamy is right there in the middle. So trying this out for the first time, I have to say I am really, really impressed. I know Beamy has released a few other collections previously to this one, and I actually want to pick a couple of them up. The Wanderlust collection, which is like soft neutrals, that's great for spring and even fall. If you're into those soft neutrals, like greens and denim blues and cream colors, and I believe there's six in that collection. So. I actually want to expand my Beamy collection in their gel polishes. That's how impressed I was with this product. So I think I've babbled enough. I've put a link in the description box of where you can purchase a Beamy Beauty Box. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you comment that down below as well. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.